means I have a current carrying wire and it is placed in a magnetic field and current in the wire is I so in that case also suppose the magnetic field is B then force force on a <clears throat> current carrying wire carrying wire will be given by F is equal to I L cross B. F is equal to I L cross B. So this is the force acting on a current carrying wire placed in a magnetic. So this can also be written as like mod of F can be written as I L B sin theta. Where th theta is the angle between current and the magnetic field current carrying uh, wire length and the magnetic field so this is this formula uh, you may already know f is equal to il cross b what happens in some cases like suppose we have non uniform wire like this suppose we have a wire like this placed in a magnetic field so in that case what happens is in the formula of F is equal to I L cross B or F is equal to I L B. What you have to take is we have to take the displacement length. Suppose length wire is of non-uniform shape. So here L will be like this. You have to take the displacement length. That is very important sometime. So we have to take this length, the displacement length. Or suppose this wire is like this and it is placed in uniform magnetic field. Current is I, so in that case, suppose it is a semicircular wire, so the length will be 2R, right? So force in that case will be F is equal to I into 2R into B. Getting my point? So if the wire is of non-uniform cross section, the length should be displacement length getting my point suppose yes, wire is sinusoidal suppose wire is like this uh, i have seen some question that the current carrying wire is like this so and the sometimes you will you may have like equation of the like suppose you have given the equation y is equal to a sine kx the equation of this curve is given y is equal to a sine kx so a wire is placed in a magnet suppose we have a wire placed in a magnetic field which is going inward and the current carrying current in the wire is i so you have to find force on this current carrying wire the shape of the wire is sinusoidal so in that case what you have to do is uh, to find the force uh, here what we have to do here also you have to take the displacement length, right so suppose this is the origin and this is the point a so you have to take this from length to find the force you have to take the length is so f will be i l b and the displacement length will be OA into B. Such questions are generally asked in J main. You will have irregular shaped wires. So in that case, what will be OA? Actually, we know that the this is the wavelength, right? This is lambda and uh, this is also lambda, right? So the length will be 2 lambda, getting my point, into B. So length, displacement length of the wire will be equal to 2 lambda. And how you will calculate lambda from this equation? We know that K is equal to 2 pi by lambda. So lambda will be calculated as lambda is equal to 2 pi by K. So we'll put here and we will get the answer. 2 lambda will be 4 pi upon k will into b 
so this will be the force acting on the current carrying wire understood my point what i am trying to say anyone having any doubt till now to find the force on a current carrying wire so generally we know that in case of regular wires it is very easy to find the force but uh, when the wire becomes irregular you have to take the displacement length and you have to apply the formula ilb so all of you understood this one anyone having any doubt please ask this is little advanced this one and this is this section you may have some parabolic wires in j may not in neat sometimes you will give a parabolic wire elliptical wires and you have to find the force so in that case you have to take the displacement length only suppose you have a parabolic wire kind of thing so you have to find the total length uh, the displacement line like suppose the parabolic wire is like this and uh, suppose the wire is like this so in that case you you will have to find this length using mathematical formula you can find this this is also called what it what it is called i think that di uh, what is the this term is called i think this length is a this length for a parabola you the mathematics uh, students may know that the y is, if we, the equation is y square a is equal to 4x so we can find to a right from the equation of the parabola so if you want to find the force on acting on a parabolic wire you have to take this length 2a displacement length getting my point all of you understood a uh, diet uh, die maybe it is called dielectric Uh, die symmetric something the name is called this one of the parabola so i have to find that getting my point or if the wire is like elliptical kind of wire is there so in that case you may have to find this one this length understood all of you Yes. So yes sir. Now we will proceed for the to find the uh, uh, displacement length on a uh, to find the force on a current carrying wire. So we will some first we will see some neat question, then we will some see some J question based on uh, to finding the force on a current carrying wire placed in a magnetic field. So. let us see some questions now uh, you can see this question uh, this one hmm see this question number 65 <laughs>
all of you attempt this question number 65 mm. let's see All of you trying this question? Sir, is the answer option D? You got option D. So let us see uh, what question says according to the question. A current carrying loop in the form of right angle isosceles triangle ABC is placed in uniform magnetic field acting along B. AB. So the magnetic field is along this direction according to the question. If the magnetic force on the arm BC, if magnetic force on the arm BC is B is F, then what is the force on the arm AC? So we have to find the force on the arm AC. So let us see. So, uh, <clears throat> suppose current in the loop is I, right, and magnetic field is along this direction. So, what will be the force on AB? Anyone? What will be the force on AB? Why AB? What will be the force on AB?
Anyone having any idea how to calculate the force on AB? See, uh, here, uh, what was the formula for force? We have seen that F is equal to I L B sine theta or I L cross B. So what is the theta? Theta is the angle between I L means the direction of current and magnetic field. Here, if you see the direction of magnetic field and current is all both are in the same direction, right? If you see here, magnetic field is downward magnetic field is downward and current also downward so here for a b theta will be equal to zero right parallel so here for a b theta will be equal to zero degree so what will be force force on a b will be zero now if you see force on b c what will be force on bc here what is the value of theta if you see the direction of magnetic field and current in the bc will be like this so here theta will be 90 degree right so force on bc will be i l b suppose length of this is l so i l b sin 90 degree it means force on bc will be i l b right so uh, <clears throat> now if you see the direction what will be the direction of force on bc anyone what will be the direction of force on bc how you will find the direction of force on bc if you see here the current is flowing in this direction. This is A, B, C. Current is in direction and magnetic field is downward. So how to find the force? Force formula is I L cross B. So to find the direction, what we have to do? We have to apply right hand rule, right? Right hand law or right hand rule. So you have to see I L cross B. So how you will find I L cross B? Like if you see here, the I is in this direction. Suppose it is X direction and magnetic field is along this direction. Suppose it is Y direction, right? So what will be I L I L cross B I cross will be will be along which direction it should be along minus Z direction right I L cross B should be along minus direct minus Z direction it should be along minus Z so the force acting on B C will be along minus k right similarly now if you see current flowing in the ca is in this direction so what we have to do you have to take the displacement length right so for ac what will be displacement length that is you have to take the dis length perpendicular to magnetic field it means the displacement length for AC will also be equal to BC. Getting my point. And what will be the direction of force? If you see here, current is along this direction. And magnetic field is along this direction. So if you will do, it will come along plus K direction. It means force on AC will be along plus z direction getting my point so obviously if you say both forces must be in opposite direction so your answer was right 
both forces must be along opposite direction so if force on according to question if force on bc is f then force on ac must be minus f both should, should be in minus opposite direction so the correct option is b understood everyone anyone having any doubt please ask anyone having any doubt please ask so you have to very careful if you see here option a and c is ruled out it cannot be the answer now the game is between b and c so it cannot be f c it cannot be in same direction so c is also ruled out so obviously it will be minus f understood my point anyone having any doubt please ask so can you explain the last part again what was last point yeah yes sir okay last point was like you know uh, to find the direction of force if you see here we were finding the direction on the part ac right we were finding the direction on uh, we were finding the force on ac so to find the force we have to take the displacement length so displacement what will be the displacement length you have to draw perpendiculars on this line we have seen that like if the wire was like this so we were taking the displacement length how we were taking the displacement length we have to draw perpendicular and the projection will be displacement length so when you are finding the force on this wire ca we will draw perpendicular like this and the displacement length will become equal to cb so for ac displacement length is equal to bc so now ac will be equivalent to bc but in bc current is flowing in opposite direction if you see here current is flowing from c to a so when you finding the force on ca you will take it is a wire equivalent to bc but current in opposite direction therefore force will also be in opposite direction understood yes sir so this is how we should find the force acting on the yes anyone having any doubt all of you understood anyone having any doubt please ask maimuna samaira all of you understood yes sir okay moving to the next question similar is the question now you solve neat question 2013 solve question number 64 this is also same concept ask in neat 2013 so all of you solve this question 
so is it option b you got b okay i think b is the right answer so let us see anyone having got any other option so let us see here you have to apply the uh, one concept like if you see here <clears throat> it says that a current <clears throat> says that a circular a circular coil abcd carrying current i is placed in a uniform magnetic field if the magnetic force on the segment ab is f then force on the remaining segment bcda so so i think b is the right answer here how uh, we got b let us see how you solve this krishna how you got b so we should consider the displacement right and uh, in the flow of bcda the current is in the opposite direction so the force will be opposite to that of this the displacement will be ab itself but it will be ba in the case of bcda okay that is also good your, lo uh, your logic is i think correct uh, uh, here we can solve it by two methods so let us see both the methods let us see a uh, first method what krishna is uh, krishna is saying that uh, like <clears throat> if you see here uh, suppose the magnetic field is suppose we take is in inward direction so to finding the force on the wire av we have to take the displacement length suppose the center is o so in that case our displacement length will be ob right now if you see here like suppose current is moving current is given in uh, clockwise direction so now for bc and cd if you see here for bc again displacement length will be ob and uh, for uh, cd and for cd also the displacement length will be od which is equal to ob and uh, but for da da also displacement length will be same but the force on if you see here the force on uh, da and cd will be in opposite direction since current is moving in opposite direction we can say if we take the displacement length so both will be cancel out the force on da and force on cd will be cancel out right so the forces on these will be ruled out the only remaining force we have to find from bc and if you see here uh, as in the previous example current in both are in opposite direction if we take the displacement length so force on bc force on bc should be equal and opposite to that of force on ab it means that should be equal to minus f so all of you understood first method so the correct answer is b anyone having any doubt please ask so here force on da and dc will be cancelled out and force on ab and bc should be equal and opposite so therefore force on bc is minus f in this simple word you can solve in one line all of you got this yes sir okay now see second method uh when there is a closed loop placed in a magnetic field like uh, 
I will give you in the uh, next slide. Like suppose I have a any kind of wire. Like I may have circular or I may have like a square shaped. So suppose I have a square shaped wire also, and these are placed in uniform magnetic field. Suppose the current is moving like I and it is placed in a magnetic field going inward. So what will happen is if we talk about displacement method also like suppose this is center is O, this one is B and kind of thing. So what will happen if we see from displacement, what will happen is that if you take like upper portion this portion of the wire so current like displacement length will come as ba and if you see here uh, i l cross b like we finding the force i l cross b so force on these wire will be if you see here uh, if you find by right hand rule so i l is towards right and magnetic field is going inward so in that case what will happen the force on uh, these wires force on wire b a will be like force on each segment will be like this here force will act along this direction like this Similarly, here current is flowing like this. So, magnetic field is inward direction. So, for, force will be like this. So, if you see here, the net force on the loop will be zero. If any, mag if, uh, if any closed wire is placed in a magnetic field, net force must be equal to each and every force will be cancel out each other and net force will be zero or you can understand it like this also in the same by displacement method like if you see here uh, we can apply our displacement method also here the currents are in opposite direction for suppose i am taking a b c a b c d so for a b c path current will be towards right and for CDA part, current will be towards left, right? So both are in opposite direction. So force must be zero on the closed loop. Similar is the case with a square loop. Also, suppose we have a square loop placed in the magnetic field. In that case also, current in uh, opposite faces are in opposite direction. So here force also will be zero. So if any kind of uh, close in any kind of closed loop or suppose we have a triangular loop also in case of triangular loop also placed in a magnetic field force will be zero so if there is a any closed loop placed in a magnetic field in all such cases force is coming to be zero here also force will be equal to zero if there is a current in the wire getting my point all of you understood this, how force will be zero in each and every shape of closed loop, whether it is circular, whether it is triangular, whether, whether it is a square shape, in all cases force must be zero if a circular loop of, or if any kind of loop, current carrying loop placed in a magnetic field, force will be zero. So all of you understood how force will becoming zero? In closed loops? Yes, sir. So here, if you see now our question, if in the here, uh, if we can see force, total force acting on the loop is zero, it means force on part AB plus force on part ADCB, right? That must be equal to zero. If total force acting on the loop is zero, then force on part AB 
and force on remaining part a d c b must be equal to 0 it means force acting on the part a d c b must be equal to negative of the force acting on the a b and if a b is given as f so it should be minus f. understood yes sir so this is the method to how we can solve such cases very easy part no need to solve and go directly in one line you can click the answer just it must be negative you can only rule out the options also it cannot be 3f minus 3f this must be equal to an opposite to f so all the option easily you can rule out and you can tell the answer is minus f all of you understood anyone having any doubt please ask so now we will move to the one remaining question uh, of je based on this then we will move to the next topic so let us see one je question uh, for the magnetic force See question number this one. Question number one. All of you, this is J Main 2010 question. So all of you solve this question number one. Pulsum got C. How you got C, Pulsum? How you got C? <clears throat>
okay no issues so uh, let us see the question says that <clears throat> the question says uh, a thin flexible wire of length l is connected to two adjacent fixed points and carries a current i in the clockwise direction it is talking about this figure as shown in the figure when the system is put in a uniform magnetic field of a strength b going into the plane of the paper the wire takes the shape of a circle right the tension in the wire so what will happen is when you place this current carrying wire in the uniform magnetic field force will act on this from all the directions like if any kind of non uniform shaped wire excuse me one second i, I have to connect to charger so so when uh, <clears throat> when any kind of current carrying wire any shape it, like suppose any shape of wire is placed in the magnetic field so what will happen is force will act from all the directions right we have seen that uh, total force acting on it is zero so what will happen is force will act from all the direction so force on this section will act like this 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 so what will happen it will take a shape of circle you may have seen such cases in surface tension right in the case of surface tension you may have seen that if you place a thread on a liquid layer it takes the shape of a circle same is the case here right if you place the wire uh, of non uniform shape in the uniform magnetic field it will take uniform shape of circle so this is natural so when it take the shape of circle you may have uh, say that total force is obviously zero but there will be tension developed in the wire so we have to find that tension right we don't have to find here force we have to find tension developed within the wire suppose tension developed is t in the wire so you have to find that tension all of you understood this question very conceptual question it is a j question and uh, it's a conceptual question you cannot uh, find it directly by applying force ilb kind of thing you have to apply uh, some concept which we will see so till now all of you understood this what i'm trying to say yes, yes sir. sir all right now to find the tension uh, you have to apply the concept of wave kind of you may have seen uh, in the wave how you have found the tension you if you remember you have taken a cross section kind of thing and you have found velocity in a wave like this so same concept you have to apply you have to take a cross section of the wire to find the tension so i will take one cross section like uh, of this suppose i have taken a small cross section of this circular portion and zoomed it out so it is like this so i will take like this suppose uh, this angle must be small so suppose this angle is theta very small angle i have taken a very small arc kind of thing from the wire and suppose tension is t like tension will act in from both the directions so suppose this tension is t and if you may have seen that if this angle is theta this angle is coming and theta 
and uh, you have two component like here you will have t cos theta in this direction you will also have t cos theta right and is the direction you will have t sin theta component here also you will have t sin theta component so the net force acting on the wire will be like 2 t sin theta and uh, so here if you see there will be net force acting 2 t sin theta and that should be equal to net force acting we have to take displacement length like so if the arc length is like suppose radius of the wire is r so what will be that this will be equal to r theta theta is l by r so this is very small arc so you can assume it as a straight kind of thing so you can take this length as r theta we know that theta is equal to l by r so from there you can find this length l which will be equal to r theta so that force should be equal to i into displacement length which is r theta and b all of you understood this how i equated this one anyone having any doubt please ask so can you explain again uh, let us see <clears throat> like we have the r we have taken a small portion of the wire i am zooming it out i am showing it on the large diagram but actually this arc is very small so the wire was like circular the wire was like circular and i have taken a small portion of the wire i have cut out a small portion like this from here and i am drawing it like this this is not so large but to show it i am taking it large and it is a arc suppose its center is at o and its radius is r so we have to find the tension developed obviously there will be a tension developed tension developed along the wire so suppose that tension is t so this will be t this will be t till now all of you understood how i yes, am taking t now i am taking uh, i have taken this angle as theta right uh, Suppose I have taken this angle as total angle as theta. So what will be this angle? This angle, this angle will be equal to theta by two, right? This angle will also be equal to theta by two. Okay. So what will be this angle? This angle should be equal to you know these lines if you see here these lines are perpendicular to this one and this angle so the same whatever is this angle the angle will be same whatever is this angle this angle will also will be same so this angle will also be equal to theta by 2 what this how this angle is theta by 2 because both the lines are perpendicular to the line this line is perpendicular to this and this line is perpendicular to this so the angle between two lines perpendicular to the those lines which are making the angles are same so if the angle between here both the two lines is theta by 2 this angle will also be equal to theta there was a mistake in the first it should not be theta here it should be theta by 2 so we found out that mistake in this it should be theta by 2 it should not be theta if I have taken this 2 theta, then it's okay, it should be theta, but this angle becomes half, right? So this should be equal to theta by 2. Now I have to take component of the tension. So vertical component and horizontal component. So this will be T sine theta by 2. What my point? And this should be T cos theta by 2 this component horizontal component similarly here uh, this angle will be equal to theta by 2 so here it will be t cos theta by 2 and this vertical component should be equal to t sin theta by 2 everyone understood the component how i have taken the component yes sir now 
suppose uh, suppose the this one is a this point is b so what will be length ab now the main thing is to find length ab how we will find length ab we will apply arc formula we know that theta is equal to arc length that is ab upon radius we know that so from here we can find the length ab that is arc theta is it suppose yes, radius sir. of this arc is r so now we have seen that total force from this diagram you can see total force will be equal to 2t sin theta by 2 in downward direction right and that and also we know that what is the force due to magnetic field we have seen that that is f is equal to i into in for length we have to take the arc length ab and uh, b magnetic field so what will be force that should be equal to i and what is the value of ab r theta into b understood yes sir so here now now after this it is easy we know that theta is very small so we can write sin theta equal to theta so sin theta can be written as theta by 2 and that will equal to i r theta into b so theta and theta will be cancel out so from here you can see 2t by 2 and that will be equal to i r b so from here we can find the t right t will be equal to i r b understood but here we don't know r right we don't know the radius so how to calculate the radius uh, there must be something given in the question the length of the wire is given as l right so from that we can find the radius how to find the radius total length l should be equal to 2 pi r into b right sorry 2 pi r total length l should be equal to 2 pi r so from there you can find r should be equal to l upon 2 pi understood so what was the force force wall i r b so put the value of r you will get i l b upon 2 pi was that option yes so you can see c option was matching i b l upon 2 pi understood how we got yes, i b l upon 2 pi anyone having any doubt please ask <coughs> kulsum krishna krishna you got mamuna samaira anyone having any doubt this type of question uh, is it's a little bit uh, uh, calculation required so such type of question may not be asked in need but to understand the cost concept this is very important we should know this concept how to find these things so from that point of view for need students it's very important for g these type of questions are asked so they must do so all of you understood this one yes, sir. yes. all right so moving to the next type of concept so this was the concept related to uh, uh, to find the magnetic force on a current carrying wire placed in a magnetic field. Uh, remaining type of questions I will give you in the assignment. Now moving to the next concept that is motion of a charged particle in a uniform magnetic field that we are going to see. So motion of a charged particle. motion of a charged particle of a charged particle in uniform magnetic field in uniform magnetic motion of a charged particle in uniform magnetic field. So, uh, we have seen that force on a charged particle 
you all are aware of that in your uh, basic class 12 uh, lecture that motion of a charge particle is generally uh, circular you may have all of you have seen so i will only i will not going to uh, i will not going in the detailed derivation i will just write the formula and we will move out to the question so that we can learn the concept so we know that motion of a charged particle that is force on a charged particle Uh, moving in a uniform magnetic field is given by q into v cross b so that is the force acting on a charged particle and if a charged particle enters a magnetic field suppose we have a, a magnetic field is going uh, into the plane of the paper and uh, and suppose uh, like we have a charged particle which enters in the magnetic field like i have a charged particle q and uh, it enters in the magnetic field so what will happen is that this motion will be uh, uh force acting on it will be along this direction v cross b so its motion will be circle like right? its motion will be circular and it will describe a circle if it is placed in the uniform magnetic field like this so we have seen that we already know the formula the radius of the circle is r is equal to mv upon qv this i am not going to derive time period we all know t is equal to 2 pi m by qv so these i think this formula you all uh, all of you know right r is equal to mv by q the t is equal to 2 pi m by time period of the circular motion this all all of you know this formula right Do I yes, need to sir. derive this? Radius of the charged particle, and we also know that if a charged particle is moving in a uniform magnetic field, its speed remains constant. It remains constant. Magnetic field cannot change speed. Our velocity is changing. V is not constant, right? If someone say what is constant, speed is constant, but velocity is changing since direction of you may have seen in the uniform circular motion right the speed is always remains constant but because of uh, because of change in direction velocity is not constant it is considered as changing so without taking much time we will directly jump to the question of uh, of a uh, motion of a charge particle in uniform magnetic field so let us do some questions and then we'll move to the next concept so let us see see question number 14 very easy so all of you see question number 14 all of you can answer this i think it's need 2007 it says under the influence of uniform magnetic field a charged particle is moving in a circle of radius r with constant speed v the time period of the motion it's very easy question why all of you are taking time in this question sir option a 
option is depend on both r and v so we have been asked about the time period right so we know that t is equal to 2 pi m by qb right t is equal to 2 pi m by qb so in the question we have given r and speed so we don't know about a b and m so we know that r is equal to mv upon qb so speed v is given in the question and r is given so from here what we can write m by qb m qb we don't know so from here m by qb can be written upon r by v so from there you can write is t is equal to 2 pi m by qb is r upon v right so yes it both depend upon r and v so the correct option is a it's not direct question right one step you have to apply this concept all of you understood this question anyone having any doubt please ask so the correct answer is a okay moving to the next question very easy question solve the question number 15 all of you directly you can answer so all of you see question number 15 one five see question number 15 very easy an electron move in circular orbit with uniform speed b it produces magnetic field b at the center of the circle radius of the circle so we know that radius of the circle is mv by qb so it should be proportional to v by b right yes sir. all of you Absolutely. can answer the correct answer is d here no need to solve by this all of you understood for 15 it should be d solve question number 16 very easy all of you uh, those have done with the 15 solve 16 Question 16 say charge particle moves through a magnetic field in a direction perpendicular to it. Then I have told you that velocity is not constant. So A is not correct. The speed remains unchanged. Yes, the speed remains constant. Direction of particle remains unchanged. No, direction is changing. Acceleration remains unchanged. So acceleration is also changing. We know that acceleration is towards the center. So the correct option is B. All of you understood for 16, the correct option is B. All right. Acceleration is changing, velocity is changing. Okay. Direction is changing. Therefore, velocity and acceleration is also changing. So, correct option is B. I'm not going to solve this. I'm saying it verbally. The correct answer is V. Right. All of you understood. Should I move? Yes. Should we go move ahead? Okay. All right. Let us see uh, one J advance or main question, then we will move to the next question. See question number two. This is 2020 question, J main question. Little bit. Uh, 
conceptual so see all of you see question number second This is the main question. I am going to take out the screenshot for this. This is NEET 2000, uh, sorry, JMAIL 2020 question, very recent question, there it is. All of you trying this question? So can you solve this question? Okay. So what it says, it says that a particle of charge q and mass m is moving with a velocity minus v i towards a large screen placed in the yz plane at a distance d if there is a magnetic field b along k direction okay the minimum value of v for which the particle will not hit the screen is so let us understand it first what it is saying then we will apply the concept of motion of a charge particle in form magnetic field. so uh, first see <clears throat> a particle of charge q and uh, a particle of charge q and mass m is moving with velocity minus v so the charge particle is moving along negative x direction with velocity v right towards a large screen placed in the yz plane so suppose uh, this one is x direction so yz plane will be like this 
obviously so there is a last screen plane in the yz plane not in the xy plane in the yz plane at a distance d so suppose this distance is d all right if there is a magnetic field along the z direction it is given that magnetic field along k direction right so uh, we can choose the axis like this suppose this is x axis and uh, suppose this is y axis and this is z axis we will take it like that so it says that magnetic field is along z axis so z axis is like this so here magnetic field is along this direction magnetic field is like this we are taking z upward and this one i am taking y not x this one is y so obviously here y is along this and z is along this like this magnetic field is along and here we have x axis where charge particle is moving okay so this is the kind of thing all right now the minimum value of v for which the particle will not hit the screen so first we have to see uh, what will be the direction of force acting on the charge particle so if if you will see v cross b v cross b will be like uh, what will be the direction of v cross b v is along minus x axis and uh, b is along so uh, b is along z direction so v cross b will be along y direction right you can also see it like this v is along minus i cross b is along j so we know that i cross j is equal to k sorry b is along k sorry b is along k b is along k direction so we know that i j k i j k so i cross k is i j k so k cross i is j i cross k is i cross k is minus j so it should be minus minus plus it should be plus j right it should be plus j so it will be equal to j so force acting on the charged particle will be you can also see from right hand rule so force acting on the charged particle will be along y direction right force will be along y direction so if force is along y direction it will trying to move in a circular path right it will try to move in a circular path and whose center will be like this it will be try to move in a horizontal circle and horizontal circle right so the circular circle will be like this it will try to move in a horizontal kind of circle because since its velocity is along this and force is acting along this direction so it will be move like this kind of circular path now uh, in the question it is given that what it says the minimum minimum value of v for which it will not hit the screen so to not hit the screen it moves in such a circular path that just going before the screen it should bend like it is go like this it should turn before reaching to the screen it must turn so that it should not hit the screen so actually the thing is that this portion this portion should be equal to diameter of the circular path this d should be equal to diameter of the circular path such that before hitting the screen the charged particle should turn getting my point all of you yes sir so this is what is the concept in this now uh, you know the diameter now you can form, find the for apply the formula of radius 
and you can apply this so we know that radius of a circular pass moving in the magnetic field is mb by qb and from here you can write uh, <clears throat> according to the question what is the radius radius should be equal to d by 2 right the diameter is equal to d so radius should be equal to d by 2 and that should be equal to mb by qb qb so from here what you have to find you have to find velocity right so what should be velocity velocity should be equal to d qb upon 2m getting my point and why it is minimum it just it should just turn that why the velocity is minimum so it should be q db upon 2m match the option q db upon 2m i think b is the correct answer no not b i think d is the correct answer understood anyone having any doubt please ask why it is minimum since before hitting this crane it just bent that is why v is minimum so anyone having any doubt please ask it's a good question and not so uh, you know difficult question you just have to apply the concept now th these days uh, in j main also not much uh, difficult questions are asked as compared to you know th two or three years uh, earlier nowadays Questions are uh, little conceptual, uh, but it's not like very lengthy so that you can't solve. You can solve J main question if you have the concept. So, in all of you understood this one? Yes, sir. Krishna, Kulsum, Mamuna, Samaira, all of you understood this? Okay. Let us do one more question based on this concept, and we will end this class for today. Then, we will in the next class, we will do the this concept so let us do one more question based on this and you know that uh, uh, you may have learned in the your basic class 12 that if the charged particle enters in the uniform magnetic field and the angle is not you know it is not perpendicular to the magnetic field then its path is helical and you all know what is pitch you may have heard what is the pitch so uh, i will give you a little concept based on that quickly we know that if the uh, charged particle entering in the uniform magnetic field is not perpendicular in that case uh, the path of the charged particle is helical, right? You may have learned in your basic class and this distance is known as pitch, right? This distance is called pitch and uh, You know in that case radius is given that mv perpendicular upon qb We have to take the perpendicular component, right? like that so i think from this you all are aware what is pitch right if, when the charged particle is enters in the magnetic field not perpendicular in that case the path of the particle is helical this all you know this one yes sir. so based on that let us do one question so that you can clarify your concept for all of you do this question number four attempt it quickly question number four So all of your team, this question number four. Very easy question, I think, direct based on formula. So I will solve it for all of you directly. 
according to the question uh, a proton of uh, uh, with a speed v speed of the charge particle is given and uh, what is speed it is given as 4 into 10 power enters in a form magnetic field magnetic field is given it is not perpendicular it enters in the magnetic field at an angle 60 degree to the magnetic field right the pitch of the resulting helical path of the photon is close to we have to find the pitch we know that if charge particle does not enter perpendicular it is helical path and this is the pitch so how we will calculate pitch which is calculated like this it is calculated v parallel into time period uh, for radius we take the formula v perpendicular and for calculation of p p for pitch p for parallel so for calculation of p we take parallel component right and in perpendicular component we sin theta component comes and in parallel component we cos theta component comes so to find the pitch we will take take it like v cos theta into time period we know that t is equal to 2 pi m upon qb right t is given by 2 pi m upon qb this formula we already know so put in that what is the v v is 4 into 10 to the power 5 and cos 60 degree right and 2 into 3.14 and uh, what is the mass mass of a proton is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 27 right and what is q q is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 and what is v v is 0.3 so if you remember charge to mass ratio of a, a proton you can easily solve it otherwise you can solve it like 4 into 10 to the power 5 cos 60 is half and 6.28 and into it is like uh, 1.6 1.6 will be cancelled out so in the numerator it will be 8 and in denominator it will be point three so can you solve all of you solve this it will be like approximately if you see it will be like uh, two into two into ten to the power uh, it is minus right it is minus so it should be minus three and also uh, we will have one more power so plus one so it will be approximately equal to 4 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter means 4 centimeter. So the correct answer is D. Understood all of you? Directly you have to apply the formula V parallel into T and in V parallel you have to take the component V cos theta. Nothing more than that. Only formula based. 